Going on YouTube, Clover Bells here back with another Scarlet Violet video and today we're going to be spotlighting a specific Dragonite set that is recently uh, increasing in uses as of late and that is Scale Shot. So basically if you don't know what Scale Shot does, here's the written description. Uh, it's dropping your defense by a stage but it gives you plus one in your speed and that's pretty important because if you just look at Dragonite speed, it's not that quick but it's not that slow either but a scale shot could make all the difference in outspeeding something like a dragapult for example so you're gonna need to use a loaded dice set uh, for this so this way scale shot can hit more than once obviously you know as much as five times uh, but after this uh, usually they go to multi-scale over here right so this way even though your defense is dropping you could still take one big hit because any kind of big attack will just get halved anyway as long as you have full HP so after this, you know, you just have to look at the speed tiers here. You can technically still get away with Adamant, obviously, uh, you know, with the final stat of 132. But if you look carefully, if you go Jolly here with 145 speed at max, right? So if you just do a little bit of math, you know, plus one speed, 145 times 1.5, it comes out to 217, um, you know, rounded down, which means you get to outspeed the Dragapult by one point. Now you can just technically go to like, you know 144 and whatnot and still be fine but at that point just just go max speed you know th there's no really harm to it so then uh that means you're losing out on some damage because you are jolly and not adamant right and you don't have the band set but at least you have the speed and you can still make up for the damage when you have the sneezer on your team uh because the sneezer usually goes for coaching okay and what's really cool about this is if you go for coaching you get to basically offset the defense drop that you would be getting with scale shot because coaching increases your defense by one point. So now what you're essentially getting is a, a speed buff and you're getting an attack buff uh, because you have the coaching on the sneezer here. So this is the combination uh, that you have to consider. Now, both of these now are, uh, you know, prone to intimidate, right? Because, you know, you're not in a focus anymore and this uh, obviously just gets intimidated anyway. So now what you have to just consider is just adding an anti-intimidate mod, and this is where King Gambit comes into play, right? So I think you really build the team around these three, so this way uh, the Gambit can also uh, be a recipient of coaching. Again, and we've seen like Sneezer coaching stuff with Gambit, Dragonite, and, and, and Garchomp before. This is nothing new, but the set of Scale Shot is quite interesting because, again, uh, Dragonite is a little bit slower than some of the other dragons, like we said, Dra Dragapult, Garchomp, but now you get the edge if you have the scale shot, and now you're basically forcing them uh, to burn a Terra or potentially switch out uh, and, you know, be out of position from there. So I really like this idea, and, you know, I'm going to show you some teams that have really taken advantage of scale shot Dragonite along with Coaching Sneezer, and, you know, I think we're going to see this in Dortmund quite a lot uh, in just a few hours uh, by the time this video goes up. So um, we'll see what happens and let's see if we got it right. But let's look at some lab mouse data and let's see uh, what kind of teams have really taken advantage of scale shot Dragonite. All right, so we're back here into lab mouse. So if we scroll down here, uh, well, first of all, again, just to show you how to filter it, we can just put in Dragonite here and then just put in scale shot. And then now we're only gonna look at teams with Dragonite that have scale shot. So there's actually a lot of successful teams here uh, with scale shot D9. So let's look at this one right here, El Panadero. All right, first place uh, team. And there's actually a, quite a few first place teams here. So this is how you know it's it's quite strong. So this one is, uh, again, there's the coaching Sneezler, there's the Gambit, and then here is the scale shot Dragonite. So look at this. Um, you still have this Firewater Grass Corp with Gashin on Rillaboom and Serilich. I actually like this a lot. So this is almost like Sneezer balance. Uh, and then you just have like some interesting options here. Like here's the Gashin on with Clear Smog uh, versus something like Pre Marina with Haze. But I actually like Gashin on a set like this Right? Especially with Storm Drain, I think this is quite good, uh, all things considered. Especially with Ice Beam, you know, with so many other dragons running around. Like, again, dr you know, Dragapult and, and another Dragonite and another Garchomp. I think Ice Coverage is just going to be really good uh, in general. And then, again, you can just coach the Gambit, the D-Knight, the Rillaboom. And then look at this Ledge over here. Uh, able to come in with Flash Fire, just soak up those eruptions from something like Torkoal or even something like... Uh, the the type version right and then you can also just go for bulk up here so imagine just like bulk up coaching plays where you can just go plus two immediately uh which is kind of funny all things considered but this is a pretty cool team i like that so if you want to use something like this definitely consider uh then you can do something right uh with the dondozo stuff here but even this is just like again just playing sneezer balance again with the similar core ideas and then this is a magmar 
and in, instead of the premier unit we have the dondozo yawn stuff so you can still do it like this look at the d knight here again terra fairy that's pretty interesting extreme speed scale shot low kick okay so no terra blast terra fairy not necessarily needed and then even on panadero's team right it was scale shot extreme speed low kick terra fairy also so there we see some overlying sets um then as you scroll down here uh again more or less the sneezer or stuff uh except this time uh it's scale shot extreme speed stopping tantrum terra steel d knight but again they're all multi-scale if you really just look at this right and you kind of need that and again the benefit of the the coaching sneezer is quite important here how about this one right here let, let me look at this one this one has a rabombi here fake tears uh for the arkeladin okay so that kind of makes sense here um but again similar set uh but no sneezer here so here finally we get to see something without the sneezer coaching i don't know i don't know if i like that i still think uh the sneezer stuff is still like quite good um you know when you really look at it and they they, uh, they almost all have it but how about this one over here all right it looks like the paul chu was six but again we have the nine tails specs here is the scale shot uh d9 this one is terror blast terrifying yeah i like this uh and then this is the bandit trump so this is almost like a goddess variant right um, but again, it still also makes sense. No sneezer needed here, but I do like the nine tails being able to put on pressure here and just, uh, you know, click choice specs blizzard, uh, change the weather against Pelipper, uh, especially against other Torkoal and Tyranitar teams. We spoke about nine tails in the previous video, uh, but again, sneezer also makes sense there. How about this one? This one has the Clefable, of course, uh, with the unaware ideas, but again, similar ideas uh, with the sneezer coaching stuff and the band, uh, not the band, the, the king gamut is what I meant. Uh, what about this one? This one's 8-1 uh, with the mouse hold idea. And uh, it's mouse ape, right? And then scale shot D knight. So this is pretty cool. So you can even just provide friend guard for your dragon knight along with multi-scale stuff. So uh, this is also pretty good. This is also tailwind D knight. This is pretty cool. So tailwind with multi-scale is interesting. Uh, and then just it, this just makes the entire team fast. So this almost looks like talon flame, right? This is, I, I, I remember this five and then just having a talon flame here in this slot. But now you add dragon knight. And of course, Dragonite is just able to put on a little bit more pressure than a Talon Flame in general. So this is pretty cool. I like this. Um, it makes a lot of sense uh, when you look at it. How about this one? This is the the Trick Room Idea variants, but there's no Porygon here. Uh, it's just you know Flamigo here. Then there's the Ursaluna with Yawn. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, it's AV Insin, Cobra Cloak Amoongus, and it's also Tailwind D Knight with Scale Shot and Extreme Seas. So again, you can run a Tailwind variant if you'd like. Uh, just to give yourself a little bit more speed, or you can just go three attacks and protect, right? There's nothing else. There's nothing really wrong with that one. How about this one? Uh, this one also looks interesting, but here's the Whimsicott with Tailwind, Fake Tier Sunny Day ideas with Arkelinen, by the way. So Electro Shot, Draco Meter, Flash Cat. This, this is Power Herb, so no Pelipper here. But again, Scale Shot, E Speed, Low Kick, pretty cool. Um, again, th this allows you to hit King Gambit, especially. You know, sometimes it gets a little bit tricky. Uh, if you don't have the sneezer right so i do recommend this idea but um look at this specs volcarona set look at that heat wave or overheat struggle bug and giga drain specs volcarona that's something else there um then this one has the pelipper gambit uh with the ape stuff so this one is ice spinner and haze look at this oh my goodness so scale shot e speed ice spinner haze okay it's interesting to see haze here because you have bulked up annihilate here you have your own scale shot uh, and then you even have an electro shot. So I guess you, what you can do is haze away your special attack drops, you know, with the Arkeladin idea. Um, so this is a attacking gamut. There's no sword stance here. I was going to say, like, there's a lot of uh, setup here. I don't know if you want to haze everything here. But um, then there's beat up here. Okay, of course, with the Annihilate in the Arkeladin, it makes a lot of sense. So, okay, yeah, I buy it. I buy it. So, again, we get to see some ideas. Um, and more or less, it's just the same ideas, you know, as you scroll down. But hopefully you understand some of the core pieces that you want to use uh, with Dragonite Scale Shot here. And what we're going to do now is go back here into the team. We're going to build two types of teams here. So this way you can also test out uh, Scale Shot Dragonite yourself. We'll also showcase a couple games just like we always do. Uh, but yeah, so let's go back here into the team builder and let's build the first variant. All right, so for the first variant, let's just do like the standard Sneezer balance ideas. So uh, we got Dragonite, Sneezer, King Gambit. Of course, we're going to add the Rillaboom here. Uh, what? Wait, where's it? No, sorry. Yeah, there's the Rillaboom. Uh, then what we can do after that, just, just go like Fire, Water, Grass stuff. So we're going to go Magmar here. Uh, and then we'll actually add the Pre-Marina with the Haze stuff. Okay. You know, again, with the Haze, 
uh, just just for like Don Dozo stuff, other setup mods in general, especially like Mouse Ape uh, shenanigans. You can always haze away that, and even like the King Gambit stuff. So there's your pre-Marina usage there. But other than that, so Scale Shot, I'm gonna go with Terra Blast, uh, and I'm also gonna go with Extreme Speed. So I'm gonna go Terra Blast, Terra Flying here, uh, and you know just like a stab uh, nuke with the pre with the flying stuff, and then protect. Uh, I like this a lot. And then Sneezer, of course, with coaching. Then we'll have Dire Claw and Close Combat, Coaching, and then Protect over here. Focus Sash will be the name of the game. Uh, and then from here, you know, again, I just like Terra Stellar Sneezer. I think it's always really, really good. Uh, the King Gambit, I still like Black Glasses, of course. Very standard King Gambit set uh, with Terra Dark, you know, Kowtow Cleave, Sucker Punch, uh, Swords Dance, and Protect, right? And then the Rillaboom, of course, with the AV, the Grassy Surge, the Terra Fire, uh, and then you have Fake Out Pressure, the Grassy Glide, the Wood Hammer, and the U-Turn, right? So where is that glide here? Okay, Gra Grassy, <laughs> there we go. Okay, finally, we got it. All right, Magmar, a Violite, uh, then, you know, I, I still like Terra Ghost Magmar. I still, uh, you know, there was a situation where I was like, okay, I was Terra Fairy, but then I needed the Ghost, and then he ended up faking out my Magmar, and then I could not taunt uh, something, but I, I was still able to win that match, which I'll show you in a second. Overheat, follow me, taunt, and then protect. So we're gonna give up Woolabus. I think that's still okay. It's interchangeable. Prim, I'm I like damage on my Prim right now. So I know there's stuff you know with the, with the citrus berry and you know even throat spray idea, but I, I just like instant damage here with the life orb. We already have enough setup here with swords dance and scale shot. I need some immediate damage pressure. Let's just go life orb aggressive Prim Marina with the moon blast and the hyper voice. Uh, and then just round it out with, with Protect over here. All right, there's the Hyper Beam, uh, Hyper Voice. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, and then Terra Poison, ideally, right? Grass is also okay, but Poison uh, does not melt to another Sneezer, right? So that's why we go in, in that direction. But this is the main idea. So, you know, just in terms of EVs, very standard uh, set that we can do here. You can go Jolly Sneezer. I still like Adamant, of course. Uh, then the Gambit. Again, out of nature, just a tiny bit of speed for potential mirror matchups, maybe other Ursa Lunas for that matter. I still like max attack, just put one point in the bulk, and then almost everything just goes into the HP stat. Rillaboom here, also adamant nature. Um, I like 132 HP Rillaboom. Uh, so you can also just go 252, 116 Rillaboom. I think this is also to, uh, totally fine. Again, you're hitting the bump here. Uh, but other than that, I just wanna go 132 Rilla, and then just go 196 here for a little bit more damage. Again, for the magic bump. And again, if you're trying to get better at competitive Pokemon and you don't know what EV bumps are, uh, because it's a very fundamental skill to understand, you know, just so that you're hitting these benchmarks here. But comment below asking what are EV bumps and I will reply to you, I will respond to you. We made a whole video uh, with several examples uh, of me going through a few Pokemon showcasing what EV bumps are. So go ahead and watch that video uh, about, I made it about almost two months ago. But if you want to just get an immediate response, Ask below and I will tell you what are EV bumps, okay? Uh, then after this, I just want about 100 speed. I think this is a, a, already a pretty fast Rillaboom. This is just meant to outspeed the modest Pelippers. And then I go about 76 speed F again, just to break that nice solid triple digit number in the special defense. That's also a nice even number for the assault vest. And then your last point here uh, just goes into defense. So this is still okay. Um, Magmar here. So all I really do with Magmar, I just go timid. And I've been going to about 60 here because this outspeeds Adamant Dragonite. So this way you could potentially burn it. Um, you can go a more bulkier route this time. Uh, but if you still want to outspeed it, uh, then you can simply just do this, right? Where you could just go 250 uh, HP. You can go 180 defense like this, one point in the special attack, and then just put the rest into special defense, right? You can definitely do something like this. Uh, otherwise, you know, you can do drop the HP point like one and then put 108 over here just so that you get a nice solid uh, even number for your Eviolite stuff, okay? But if you want to go a little bit more bulkier, you can definitely do something like this where you're going for the bold stat uh, and then this way you still outspeed, you know, the Pelipper stuff, the modest ones, uh, and then you still have a nice solid uh, special defense number here. But now you have a little bit more bulk in your defense, which is good, right? So if you don't care for that and you still want this, then this is still okay. Otherwise, uh, if you want to go uh, will o -Wisp over here instead of Taunt, you can definitely just still uh, go with the Timid Magmar here. But I think for now, uh, we'll just go Bold. I think Bold is still quite good on our Magmar set over here. The Prim, uh, again, Prim, I'm just going to hit the benchmark here. Modest 108. This is still okay. 
Uh, and then I just go up to about 179 here. This is just to optimize the life orb recoil damage. Because again, you're losing one tenth of your max HP. If you put it to 180, you're taking 18 points of damage per turn because 180 divided by 10 is 18. But if you undercut the threshold by one like this, okay, now it's 17.9, which rounds down to 17. Remember in this game of Pokemon, everything rounds down, nothing rounds up. So this way you're getting the most value out of your HP stat but you still don't patch that threshold, okay? Because if you do this, you're taking 18 damage. If you do this, you're taking uh, 17 instead of uh, 18. So you're saving yourself uh, an extra HP stat. And then if you just do something like this, right? Like 174 or 175, that's still 17. So you're basically wasting EVs like this. So you might as well just go to 179 to still keep it at 17, but you get a little bit more HP stat, right? So that's how you optimize your life warp chip, which we also made a video about if you scroll back to the channel. Um, then about 132 defense, this is still good enough to survive Rillaboom, Grassy, Glides, Shenanigans. 76 speed, again about 90, and then uh, just put the last point there into Spadef there, right? Um, but that's pretty much it. This is a, a very standard Sneezer balanced team uh, with uh, Scale Shot Dragonite, which works very well because, again, you have lots of coaching targets here, you know, with the D Knight Gambit and the Rillaboom, and then, you know, your Premier Unit just gives you a little bit more special damage, so you can just do it like this. Uh, and then we'll show you a second variant, uh, you know, coming up. But let's do a couple of test games with this one. Okay, so this is some interesting weird team, but it's a pretty effective one. He, he was like mid ladder at some point. But this is our Anguru with Trick Room here. And he's got a couple of slow options. There is the Pelipper Arkelid and stuff uh, with the Annihilate over there. So understandable stuff. Uh, but this is where Magmar can come in handy with Taunt, right? Uh, so I kind of want to just lead with that. And then just go from there, right? So he's going to go with Oranguru. He's going to go with the Rillaboom here. So fake out Trick Room potential. Uh, you know, just uh, ideally, right? So this is where like Terra Fairy kind of failed me here. So, you know, he faked out the Magmar. Obviously, this is where Terra Ghost would have been great. Um, and then we just nuke the Rillaboom here. Uh, and he does go for the Trick Room. So I do have to work a little bit harder because I did not have Terra Ghost. But that's fine. So here comes the Skeledurge. But this is fine. You just protect the D-Knight here. And instead of him going for like instruction shenanigans, I just want to taunt it now. So this way we don't have to worry about that, right? And the Skeletor is still like kind of weak, even though he did get up uh, the sunny day, uh, you know, with the torch on stuff. So he goes into Arkeladin, that's fine. I'm going to go into Gambit because Gambit uh, can outspeed in Trick Room. And now I get to redirect the Skeletor stuff with Torch Song, right? So uh, this is still okay. He gets plus one, all right? Terra Fairy, smart Terra. So this way he doesn't get sucker punched or he doesn't get die or it doesn't die to counts out cleave again torch song doing a lot of more damage now the arkeladin is powering up here but he goes for body press which we obviously live because we redirected uh one more turn of trick room so this is still okay now what i want to do here is protect the gambit and just try and nuke the skeleton so this way i can at least put it in range i know he's going to get greedy with the arkeladin here um so we just overheat now uh and now you know even if he did kill i would have just swapped in and got something else in uh, because Trick Room is now gone. So he goes back into Oregon to try and switch. So I'm going to go back into d to put on a little bit of pressure now. I'm going to protect the Magmar because I need the redirection. He does body press, so he breaks my multi-skill, but that's not going to matter uh, because now I can just nuke the Oranguru, okay? And I can taunt it now just to put it in range later. This is fine. He goes for Electro Shot. This is okay. And he doesn't have the range, so that's not really going to help him here. I'm going to go to Sneezer now to put him in position. Look at this. Now he's forced to switch, right? So this is great. Uh, and now he, he's kind of cooked from here because now he's out of position. No more Trick Room. He can't set it up. There's nothing he can do. There's no Terra available. The Arkeladin will drop here. Um, even if he, he switched it, you know, it, that doesn't matter because uh, we nuked the Oranguru. Anyway, so he has no choice but to forfeit there. So even though he did get up his Trick Room, it didn't matter. He couldn't really capitalize on it because we had Protect and we had uh, Redirection Support, which is all you really need to do to stall out you know, Trick Room teams like that, okay? But again, this is also why I switched to uh, uh, Terra Ghost on the Magmars. It just would have made the matchup a little bit easier, in my opinion, and not have to take nine turns. Uh, but it didn't matter. I still had to, you know, work my way around and play the game, of course, as we like to do. Okay, so this is uh, annoying 2 2 2 Dozo stuff, you know, with the Weezing, Slacking, and, you know, Talonflame, Goldengo. If I had to play Weezing, Slacking, this is what I would do. This is still, like, linear at the end of the day. But there's always going to be people like this. So this is where like Pre Marina can really help you out here, um, especially because of Haze. But uh, at the same time, this is where, you know, D-Knight 
uh, can also do relatively well, as does Magmar to an extent if you can just taunt the Weezing, uh, because then it can't protect and then the Weezing gets exposed uh, and then it's forced to switch out, right? So this is how you have to like kind of process it. But I do need the Premier Unit in position later on. I also still need something for the Goldango. So I'm still thinking about bringing the King Gambit here and that's probably what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to go D Knight here and I'm going to go Magmar. And he's going to go with the Weezing and he's going to go with the Slacking. Okay, so I have to be careful about will o on the on the Weezing. So I kind of just want to see what he wants to do. Um, he's actually just going to be super aggressive with the Double Edge. All right, I'm going to taunt the Weezing so I'm faster. That's great. And he was going for Poison Gas. So he wasn't even going for will o So I'm going to taunt. I'm going to redirect. That does a lot of damage. I get to live, uh, you know, <laughs> which is great. Uh, I'm going to Scale Shot the Weezing here. Okay, and just potentially pop this uh, Citrus Berry over here, which I, I do get to do so. Um, yeah, so now this, uh, you know, I only hit it two, four times, so that was a little unfortunate. I do get to live, which is great news for me. The slacking protects. I don't think that's the threat anyway. Um, the main threat for me is, is of course, this wheezing. So, you know, uh, because I did not get off that fifth set there, you know, it just didn't really pan out. But my my Dragonite now gets out, outspeeds everything. So my Magmar falls, the wheezing taunt ends, so he can ideally protect now. But I'm going to go into King Gambit here. I'm going to go Terra Flying D-Knight now and just start nuking, right? Because the slacking, I, I outspeed it anyway. And he goes double edge. He actually removes the D-Knight. That's a little unfortunate for me, but he does fall to the recoil. And of course, there's the Kautzo creep, right? So not great for me, but, you know, still winnable. Now here's the Pre-Marina. There's the Dozo. That means Tatsugiri's coming in. Um, the Weezing, I just want to remove it. And, you know, I wanted to go for Swords Dance just in case. Uh, if he did go and swap ideally, right? But here's my sword dance. But I still need to remove the buffs now. So, you know, and it didn't really matter if I attacked or not because he clicked protect. So I still need to haze. He goes for earthquake. Um, the gambit does live, thankfully. Okay, so we get to wipe away the dandos of Diva. So good job. And then we can sword dance now. Um, and even if he earthquakes again, he's just not going to kill because he doesn't have any uh, damage anymore, right? So there's the Kowtow Cleave again, still putting it in range. Earthquake. If he crits, of course, that would have really helped him. That he probably just would have won. But of course, you know, we don't get crit all that often, right? Not on, not on, not when we're making a video, right? So you always want to put uh, the Dozo in KRH where you can still kill the Tatsugiri in the same turn, which is exactly what we did. Um, but yeah, so that's how you have to play this. So Pre Marina again, having that niche here to come in and haze and finish the job, so this way King Gambit can survive and and, and also deal the final blow into Tatsugiri. I think if I did not Swords Dance, I don't think I pick up the KO on the Tatsu. Um, so uh, I'm glad I did Swords Dance uh, for that reason as well. Okay, so I'm still going to build around this core. But of course, I'm just going to change uh, the way the team functions by adding three other pieces. But again, still another solid, consistent way uh, to use Scale Shot Dragonite. I'm going to go the 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 Paul Chua route, almost the Paul Chua route. I'm going to go with Garchomp here. I'm going to go um, the, the Amoongus. And I'm going to go to, uh, with the Nine Tails over here. So no instant, but that's okay um, because the Nine Tails here is just going to be super aggressive with that Choice Specs idea. I did like that. I'm going to go Terra Water here. Uh, you know, Goldango Resistance, Typhlosion Resistance is pretty good. Blizzard, uh, you know, Icy Wind, Speed Control, uh, Moonblast, and Freeze Dry. Okay, tons of damage. You know, especially with Timid Nine Tails. You know, being able to outspeed things is important. Um, the Amoongus here with Terra Fairy redirecting other dragon uh, attacks away from my other dragons themselves. So Citrus Berry here uh, is, is pretty good. Rage Powder, Pollen Puff, Spore, and then Clear Smog, of course, uh, because I don't have any more Haze, but this is still fine. We'll go Relax Nature here. Again, this is just also for the, the Trick Room matchup, but, which is also uh, something that we do have to prepare for. But other than that, you know, just 244 HP here. Let's hit the bump and 196 uh, defense there and 68. Uh, spit F. again this is this also is calc for talon flame brave bird life orb shenanigans so I, I i do like living that uh which is why i go for that so you know life orb chomp here and again we get the benefit of to go life orb because we have a king gambit here so if you want to intimidate any of these guys uh then the gambit is just going to get a straight boost here so i'm gonna go rough skin uh i'm gonna go terra fire of course and then just standard earthquake uh stomping tantrum your single target move your dragon claw uh, and then and then just for a straight up protect here. Dragon breath? Nope. You want the dragon claw? Okay. Um, and then after this, uh, just standard jolly chomp. Uh, of course, you know the speed ties are. I think chomp is uh, very high in usage right now, especially on the double dragon teams, which is essentially what we're doing here. So um, this is another way uh, to consider. I'm going to show you a game where I actually forgot to switch out 
uh, the loaded dice and now is like an AVD knight, for example, here. But I still like this set. Um, again, low kick is still pretty good uh, against the steel type. But again, because I have a sneezer, I think I'm okay in that sense. And I also have a Garchomp here. So I don't necessarily need the low kick, but it does help uh, sometimes if you do think about it. But I do like this set. Uh, you know, just with the, the double dragon card, the nine tails weather control, the Amoongus support with the King Gambit. I think this is fine. You can coach the D Knight, the Gambit, and the Garchomp now, uh, which I like a lot. So let's go ahead and show a couple games with this. All right, we got another Weezing player. This one's the other one, and he's got the, the Indeedee, the Typhlosion stuff, and he's got his double core uh, of D Knight, Chomp, and his own Sneezer. So three of the same Mons, more or less, but uh, the secondary mode of his team uh, is of course the size spam shenanigans. I wouldn't even be surprised if that was, uh, you know, Psychic Seed Sneezer here, but I think Ninetales does really well against a lot of what he has, especially those dragons. So I don't think he leads with it. So this is why I'm also bringing out the Gambit. So he does NDD Typhlosion. So all we're gonna do is put pressure right now, just protect the Gambit, go Terra Water. This is why we have that Terra in the first place. I know he wants to go that route and just try and nuke. So Eruption hurts a lot. Could have even melted my Gambit, but again, just going for Blizzard now, uh, just does well. I don't even think he needed the Terra, in my opinion. I think, you know, Eruption Scarf would have just done the job there. But he goes into Weezing now. But because we have so much pressure, you know, that's actually bad. Because now the Gambit just picks up the KO. We get a Freeze that wasn't even necessary. Um, and now we just go for the Kautoki, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this. Because we just got two KOs in two turns. So he now he's going with Chomp and Typhlosion here. He already Terra, so that means the Chomp is more or less cooked. He does go for Heat Wave. Again, he is Scarfed. But that doesn't really help him here because now we just melt everything. The Chomp dies. The Typhlosion is already essentially low. And now all we can do is just kind of meme here. We can go into D Knight now and we can keep spamming Blizzard. He misses the Nine Tails anyway. That does nothing to the D Knight. And now we just Blizzard again. He lives on like one HP. <laughs> okay. And of course, that's pretty much all she wrote. Uh, because even with the Heat Wave, even with the credit, he doesn't do anything here. Uh, the Nine Tails is just so strong and outspeeding everything he had here besides the Typhlosion. Uh, and this is where Terra Water really wanted me the game here, All right? So, uh, yeah, let's look at another game. Okay, this looks like one of those older Garganical teams. He's got Instant Rillaboom, uh, Palafin over there with the uh, the Furograph, and then there's a Glamour here for some reason. But this is a, a more or less an older uh, type of team to use. But, uh, you know, that doesn't matter to us because I think King Gambit Sneezer does a great job here. Uh, it just basically means we, we get to have some good pressure into the Instant Furograph stuff. So he's going with... Baby Finn over here. I'm just gonna go coaching here, okay? And I don't wanna get Earth Powered by the Glamour. He goes for a close combat Palafin, uh, but the defense actually helps me here. Um, it's a non-stab move, it's a baby form. We're, 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 we're fine here. And then we just nuke the Glamour anyway, okay? And, and you know, it wasn't even Sash, so yeah. Rillaboom comes in, so this is fine. Um, we can just protect the Sneezer here so we don't get faked out, but he makes a good read. He fakes out the Gambit, and the Palafin goes for close combat. Anyway, that could even be banned. I'm not even sure at this point. Who knows? But all I'm gonna really do is just switch out here, go into D Knight, and guess what? We get to click on the gamut. Yeet punch, right? So goodbye, Palafin. All right, thanks for coming. Wood hammer does not kill because coaching is so good. We get a defense buff there. Um, and now D Knight is in a pretty good spot. He does intimidate the D Knight, but thank you for giving Gambit a nice little solid boost. So all I'm gonna do is just go into Sneezer, remove the poison, you know, protect the Gambit here. Uh, so this way Garchomp can come in and finish the job against the Ensign, right? So he goes for Grassy Glide. Look, I'm Terra Dark. I have Black Glasses. I am plus two. Do you think Sucker Punch KOs this Rillaboom? Absolutely. So that's exactly what we do. He goes Terra Ghost here. That doesn't matter. Goodbye, Rillaboom. Gambit is so good. And now we just Stomping Tantrum to Incin. It doesn't really matter. He has to go one on three. Incin is not winning that matchup. Goes for Flare Blitz. Doesn't matter uh, because Chomp at this point will win the game. Oh, it was Citrus Berry Incin anyway. No goggles? That means I could have slept him. All right. D Knight, Chomp. Guess what? Here's the Dragon Claw, and just for the memes and just for the lulls, we get to use Scale Shot here on the instant, and we just essentially pick up the KO here, right? So um, overall, again, we had a lot more pressure, but again, uh, Sneezer coaching did do the job there. You know, Essential lives from the Gambit because of the defense buff, uh, and then from there, Chomp and D Knight are just able to clean up in the end game. All right, this is actually a pretty cool team, but it's just almost like you want to see a Sneezer here, but. Um, at the end of the day, the Annihilate here was a Scarf coaching set, and this guy's just messing around with Gliscor. But he was like almost 1500 when I was playing this match. So this is a pretty cool uh, team over here. But, uh, you know, this is where something where I was looking at, you know what, I think Sneezer Dragonite can do something here. 
especially against what he has. So there's the glass card, there's the annihilate, right? So I kind of want to just go for it. But he actually has coaching here. The, again, I, I, I this is in hindsight. So D Knight gets the coaching buff. All right, it goes for dual wing beat, gets to remove the sneezer. This is why wing beat is so good right now on Talonflame rather than Brave Bird, for example, for that reason. So we go for scale shot here. Um, and we chip the Gliscor to less than half, which is good. All right. And, you know, the the, the the defense buff is gone because we had the coaching buff, right? So here comes Chomp. So I just want to go Terra Flying and nuke the Annihilate. He protects Gliscor and he still outspeeds, right? So that's fine. But we get to nuke the Annihilate now. Um, and even if he switched, it would have just something would have dropped. But Chomp there would not pick up that KO because he has plus two defense now. So this is this gets interesting, but he does have like the buzz here. Now, this is where I realized I did not switch out my... I, I still had the AV on the uh, skill shot here, right? Not the loaded dice. I just realized that afterwards when I was playing the team. Um, but it wouldn't matter because the electables click follow me anyway. Um, but yeah, so Ice Fang. So goodbye, Chomp. That's okay. Uh, because now we get to go into everything else here. But uh, look at this. We have one last option. It's the Gambit. And he goes into Gold Dango. Guess what he's tearing? Of course, it's the Gold Dango. But it's Fairy instead of Steel. So that was interesting, um, but you know, I just wanted to try and pin the slot anyway, just in case. I wanted to try and nuke the Gliscor here. It's make it rain, but again, that doesn't do much damage uh, because he is a leftovers gold thing. So now I'm not even worried. Now all I have to do is just double this Gliscor slot because you know I just want to make sure I pick up the KO. The gold Dango is not going to do anything here. Um, he nasty plots, doesn't matter. He's fairy now, I outspeed. All I have to do is just do a little bit of sucker punch. Dragonite just gets the nuke. And that's it from the gold dango so this is why you have nice good speed buffs on the dragonite for that reason and terra fairy just made it so that uh he he lost his resistance to me okay because dragonite was able to just hit it uh for a little bit more damage because we were plus one all right so there it is two teams for you to try with the scale shot d knight either way you can do sneezer balance or you could do double dragon course i think these are two of the easiest teams that you can use uh if you want to go and explore uh, the, the scale shot Dragonite route. So hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you try it out and let's see if this will be a thing in Dortmund. All right. So, uh, enjoy the regional tomorrow, but yeah, we'll be back with another video in the next one. Peace out guys and have a good one.